Mm-hmm. Well, there's an immediate uh, catastrophe upon us, which is the financial situation, the the Ponzi scheme that essentially the banks and uh, the government and leading uh, business entities have been involved in has gone on for decades, but it's reached a point now where a collapse is imminent. And I think the, the report addresses that, has some ideas. The most urgent thing to do is to stabilize the financial picture um, and then and then embark on the other reforms that are needed. But you know, economics and finance go hand in hand with politics and security. And so again, we have to make sure that there's a government that not only has the political will, but the means to accomplish these reforms. Um, and secondly, that we continue to provide our assistance to the legitimate institution that is uh, meant to defend Lebanon and secure Lebanon, and that's the army, uh, in contrast to Iran's strategy. Ambassador, you talked about a Ponzi scheme. What does it, or what is it meant to say to people in Lebanon when U.S. officials, yourself included, continue to meet with the central bank governor, Riyad Salemi, who was actually under investigation in Switzerland and elsewhere um, for activities uh, that supposedly have been ripping off the Lebanese people. A lot of Lebanese don't consider him to be someone who is uh, someone worth actually speaking to. They consider him part of the problem. You refer to it as a Ponzi scheme. Should American officials still be meeting with him? Well, he's the he's governor of the central bank, and he's uh, crucial for uh, finding a way forward. Um, I would but do you believe he was part of the problem in terms of that Ponzi scheme? I would, I would not blame any one individual. I've not seen any evidence. Obviously, if there's investigations underway, they will, they will uncover what there is, if anything, to uncover. I'm not here to defend or uh, otherwise, do otherwise uh, of an individual. But we meet with everybody in Lebanon except terrorists. 